Hey, what's going on guys? Vega here from Serpent X Tech. And uh, in this video, we're gonna be looking at this guy right here. This is the ASUS Dual Band Wi-Fi Range Extender. It is AI Mesh compatible. It's called the RPAC 1900. Why are we looking at this? Well, this Netgear, I forgot. I think it's like the 61 something um, extension. It's a Wi-Fi extender. Uh, usually you always wanna go wired connection with all your rigs or system setup. Um, I do have a switch back here. It's actually an old Netgear but it doesn't even have a uh, gigabit ethernet. It's just an old, you know, 10 by 100, really old school, but I just had it lying around, so I figured I'd use it. Why do I need to do this? Well, as you can see, I got a gray cable running through my living room and my wife is getting upset with this cable being there, especially because it becomes a trip hazard after a while. And I need to have consistent power, uh, consistent uh, connectivity for not only my NAS, but my mining rigs and everything. And I know dropping it through the wall might be an option, but this is an exterior wall over here. And then back over here, that is an interior wall, but you can see it's vaulted. And it's very hard to get down and run a wire through there. So unfortunately, we're stuck with this as an option for now. Uh, we're gonna see how the performance is. I know with this, I was maybe getting 50 to 60 megabyte down at the best, and maybe 10 up at the best. So. Let's get this open, see what's inside, and see how much better or how much more reliable this is compared to this, because this will disconnect quite often as well. So in the box, obviously, we got our extender here. Looks like we got three antennas already connected or on the back. Set that to the side. Warranty manuals, ethernet cable, and then of course our power. We don't need the ethernet cable because I'm just going to use what I have right here, but at least I got a backup now. And let's look at the extender itself. All right, not looking, not, not too bad, not too bad. So, it kind of reminds me of the computer, the, de the Asus desktop that they have. You know what I'm talking about? I forgot the name of it, but uh, yeah. So, sleek little style. It is big. Um, obviously we could connect our WAN connection to the blue and then have four more ethernet ports going out to our devices, but we're going to try to connect this using AI mesh over the Wi-Fi. So it's going to be a Wi-Fi, um, bridge, and then it's going to take that Wi-Fi signal. Uh, and I believe this is Wi-Fi six and we're going to take that signal and we're going to split it out amongst our various devices that we have. Now the speeds are actually on the side of this box. We can take a look at it real quick. 1300 megabytes per second plus 600 megabytes per second. I'm guessing that's the various bands. 2.4 up to 450. 2.4 with turbo QAM up to 600. Five gigahertz is 1300 megabytes per second. All of it is gigabit ethernet ports. That's good. Three antennas, yada, yada. All right, I believe I just need to power this guy on and then we need to AI mesh it which I can actually control from my phone and we'll see if there's anything crazy I need to do with that. But I want to test the performance. So we're going to use the NAS to test out the performance and compare what I'm getting speed wise. Um, and I'll show you that here in a minute. All right. So as you can see, we are all set up. And as I mentioned, this thing reminds me of the Asus desktop that they have. And here are the speeds. Let me go ahead and turn this light off. But basically we got pretty good ping and phenomenal speeds compared to the original Netgear device that I was using, the Wi-Fi extender. I think it's the EX6120, something like that. But anyways, so 476 down, almost 42 up, uh, ran a Google speed test, so 521 down, uh, and the upload speeds obviously took a hit. So we'll let that run again. And then I copied over a file, or I have a file that I'm gonna copy real quick and see how this goes. The biggest benefit is obviously we got a bunch of wires back here. Besides my electrical, we got a bunch of wires back here uh, that I hope to try to consolidate and clean it up a little bit, uh, do some wire management. But I won't have to run this old school switch, the 10 by 100 switch anymore. I can just use the ethernet ports in the back of this. So there's the true upload speed. So 501 down, uh, 41.2 up. We're gonna run it again on this and see how it goes. And obviously the biggest benefit of all of this is 
get her rid getting rid of this trip wire, as my wife likes to call it, running through the living room from our master uh, to keep you know the NAS and my mining rigs up and running because we're utilizing HiveOS to mine. And even on Windows, it's, it's just better to have a wired connection than wireless, even though we've seen wireless speeds become phenomenal and just so much greater. This is a Wi-Fi 6 kind of um, Wi-Fi extender. Uh, it can basically work as a, a, a router in my opinion. Uh, but uh, yeah, really good speeds, looks pretty good and handles well. Look at that ping, look at those speeds. So let's see what happens. We've seen what we're getting uh, as far as uh, megabits per second. Let's see what we get for megabytes per second. We're gonna copy and paste a file, it's about five gigs. And then there we go. So dropping down a little bit. Could be because I'm sitting right in front of the connection. There's the speeds. Uh, we're using a 10 gig uh, ethernet port on the ASRock Z390. So there's no limitations there. And getting about 70, 71, 72 megabytes per second. Not megabits per second, megabytes per second. So that's uh, close to about, what, 700 megabits per second? So yeah, eight bits in a byte. Just make sure you don't confuse the numbers there. But yeah, I mean, this is absolutely so much better performance because originally if I were to copy a file or anything like that, obviously with the old net gear, it would be so much slower. But that's uh, pretty much it. I thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, please do me a favor on the way out and hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell to stay up to date what's going on as well as check out some of the links in the description down below that help out the channel. Don't forget if you sign up or join the channel, uh, you have perks such as access to the Discord, behind the scenes, and a random winner or member will be selected for a giveaway of some Bitcoin every once in a while, every blue moon. So. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves.